Hey there guys, Lazy Beast here, back with part 2 of the Complete Beginner series and in this episode what we're going to talk about is movement and combat. We're going to go a bit more in depth in those aspects of the game and I'm going to give you some little tips and tricks along the way. So I've just skipped ahead a few quests here at the start of Exile's Reach and I've come across this quest to go and attack Captain Garrick and practice combat. Now if you are Horde this will be a different NPC but don't worry it's the same quest. Now I've chosen to do it here because this quest is all about teaching you about combat and things you can do. So you got to prove abilities against Captain Garrick. Now, one thing I want to show you before you start combat, uh, well, there's two things actually, is the personal resource display. So if you go into interface and names, if you click personal resource display, you will get this little thing popping up and it will show you uh, your resources. So it does this when you're in combat. So I'll show you against a different NPC first. So if you see, it should pop up. There we are. So it shows your health and mana. Now another good thing this will do is show you any buffs and debuffs that you have got. So what we'll do, we'll di dive into buffs and debuffs shortly in this video. So we're going to fight Captain Garrick. So we start off attacking. And you can see she's now got a red bar, so that means she's engaged with us. So she wants us to use Moonfire, so cast Moonfire. She's telling us that's the best spell to start at the start of the game. At the start of uh, combat, sorry. So you can see there's a buff there on her head. Now this is called her nameplate. So if I press V, you see this goes away and you can't see that buff. You can see it here on her nameplate. Um, but if we want to see that again, you press V again and you'll see any enemy nameplates turn on. You can toggle that on and off whenever you want. So it's easy, nice and simple to see your buffs there. And you can see obviously when it's ticking down. There's different add-ons you can get for nameplates if you want to choose a different one, but we're just going to stick with the default UI for now, and we'll get into the UI and add-ons in a different video. So we've done that quest, we've, we've, we've done that. Now, if you do different things in, in combat with that NPC, she'll sort of tell you off. So what I'm doing here to target these abilities, to, to target these enemies, is just clicking them. Now, there's an easy way of doing it. If you uh, tab target, now tab obviously is a button on your keyboard. You can see this guy's in front of me here. If I press tab, it's going to target him. Now, if I aim towards that guy over there, it's going to target him again. If I keep pressing tab, you can see how it cycles between the two. So that's one way of easily selecting things that are in front of you. What you can do as well is hold tab down. Now, this will target what's in front of you again. Uh, that guy's a bit far away. Let's put a, there we go. So you can hold tab down, and then when you let go of it, it will select what you're actually looking at. So there you go, you selected the coastal got. It's a bit hard to see that guy up there. So I'll hold tab down and it will select what's in front of you. There you go. Well, the best thing to do usually, and it's very reliable, is tab targeting. Like even that guy over there, it's done that. And uh, that guy over there, it's done that. You don't have to be looking directly at them. So see, like if I go over to this guy um, and press tab, it's going to just target that guy because he was the closest in range to me. So that's tab targeting. Now movement. Obviously, you've got W, A, S, uh, and D. S is for backwards. I don't have that bound. You can see I've got S bound to this spell here. I never ever use uh, backpedal, which is what it's known as. When you're walking backwards, you actually go slower. Like, say I wanted to cast a spell, and this guy was going to run at me, and I wanted to run away and get more range so I can cast more spells, uh, which is known as kiting. Uh, so if I want to cast this guy, what else you'll see I'll do is I'll run sideways, because I'm, I'm running at full speed there. So if I was to backpedal it's just going to be much, much slower. So I would advise to never ever use uh, S. You can bind that as an ability. Um, I always use it as Wrath for my Druid or like on my Hunter, I'll use it as like Steady Shot or something because it's something that you're going to use all the time. It's a very easy to access key. So I advise you not to backpedal and just use, you know, use this. Now at the start of Combat 2, you've got buffs and debuffs. So let's have a look at that. So. Captain Garrick told us to use Moonfire to start off. So if we do that, we press Moonfire, the guy starts running in. There's actually a better way of doing it, is you apply the buff at the same time as combat starts. So what you can do is you can sneak an extra spell in. So we're gonna cast Wrath. As soon as Wrath finishes, Moonfire. So Moonfire hits him, you can see he's already at half health, and then just Wrath him to finish him off. So buffs and debuffs, what is a buff? Now a buff is basically a beneficial spell. So um, most classes, Pretty much every class has a buff that you can cast on themselves. So, regrowth isn't a buff, but you can see it leaves a hot on us. Um, so that's technically a buff because if we cast regrowth on ourselves, you can see here that's you could say that's a buff. It heals us for one every two seconds. Now, there's different types of buffs. So, hots 
are in their own category. Hot stands for heal over time. So they're in their own category. Now there's other ones, so dash is a buff because it improves our movement speed for 60 seconds. So that's a, a beneficial buff. Um, a debuff on the other hand will be something that does the opposite. So a debuff is a bad thing. So something that slows your movement speed or something that does damage over time. Um, so for example, um, where are we? Let's find, let's find one. So Moonfire for the enemy is a debuff. So it's a bad thing for him, you know. So that's basically buffs and debuffs. Uh, you can get long-lasting buffs and debuffs. So um, things like Battle Shout for Warriors, they have an ability. I think it increases attack power for everybody. So they'll cast Battle Shout and that can last for like an hour. So that's a buff. You can also get buffs from potions and from food, but we'll dive into that a bit more later. So movement. We'll finish this video off on movement. This is going to be a pretty a quick one. So... WAS and D. Now, what I use mainly for movement is my mouse. So, if you press the right mouse button in, you can see that it moves your camera around. You can move that around. If you press the left mouse button in as well, keeping the right mouse button down, you'll move. Now, you can turn if you turn your mouse. Now, this is the way that I usually move. You can also strafe using A and D. So, if you've got them both pressed in, or you can even just press the right mouse button in. And just press A or D and then you'll strafe that way. If you're pressing W, you're obviously going to go forwards. But to go backwards, you can just hold like A and, and move the camera. Um, so like if I target this guy, we'll go over here. So I'm going to press Escape to clear my target. I'm going to go up to this guy, Tab. And that's going to target him. And then I'm going to cast. And as soon as I cast, I'm going to move. So I'm holding my right mouse button in and pressing D there to run away. Same again, press D, run away. And I can cast while I'm running. Cast instant cast spells while you're running. So I'll show you a bit of an example down here. So we've got a lot of enemies here. So what I'm going to do, obviously these guys are quite trivial. They're not, they don't really pose any major threat. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cast. I'm going to hit him with a moonfire. I'm going to click this guy, moonfire, tab, moonfire, tab, moonfire. So I've got all these guys and I'm running away now. So I'm using my right mouse button in and these guys can't hit me. I'm still moving and there we go we took, killed all those guys and I think we took one hit so that's that so that is why it's important to get used to moving around properly um, some classes like if you're melee obviously it doesn't really matter because you're always in the enemy's face but there might be times where for example like a frost death knight can do some attacks from range so can unholy so um, and survival hunters for example can do the same so you might want to kite you might want to get up in someone's face smack them about a bit and then run away if they're doing a lot of damage to you slow them down you know cast a debuff on them slow them down or root them in place and then keep doing damage from afar and so there we go that's like a bit more of an in-depth look at uh, movement and combat and buffs and debuffs so i hope that's helped and hopefully see you guys in part three thanks for watching guys i've been laser beast